In the previous installment of Pass the Dice, the party embarked on a harrowing quest to save Born, who had been forcibly dragged into the depths of hell. Beethoven was unveiled to the party in a desperate attempt to bring Born back. In hell, they encountered the acolytes of the Crawling King, who were shadows from their past. Born's flesh was torn from his body, resulting in his death, only for him to be reborn in a new, yet strangely familiar form. The episode concluded with Opal, uncertain of the individual's identity, pressing a blade against Born's throat. Alright, everyone. So, we're going to do the last left off. Everyone was kind of getting a, a nice rest out of the uh, East Caves, the traumatizing events that occurred there, reliving some past trauma, uh, and actually allowing you know everyone to kind of get a little glimpse on the birth of these characters. Uh, once making it, thankfully, to the lighthouse, uh, everyone was kind of just relaxing and finding Torrent, uh, friendly feds, just getting some drinks, and um, a few things were mentioned that I just want to kind of men bring back up because it's been a little hot minute. Um, Kat had mentioned that uh, Electra mm -hmm. was back yeah. to Torrent to re reply to his employer. Um, John, you had found a very tiny little fox creature, which was later discovered. Uh, Opal's insight check on that, or history check on that, a Nor fox coming from the kingdom, I'm sorry, the country of Nor, uh, which is west of the kingdom. Got a little of an interaction there, and all the while, Bjorn decided to kind of take Ham's words to heart, where pushing forward um, and he quite literally went outside and tried to embark on his separate journey. Called upon the ghost, or this creature that has been following them, and inevitably ending up in being dragged literally to hell. I won't do that again, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> taking just like a quick little scouting trip and ended up investigating and finding out with Beethoven's help um, that there was a circle to hell, a, a portal so to speak to hell that had been ripped open. Against Caro's better judgment, one would say, um, he ran upstairs and ended up getting everyone together and even grabbing the little fox person along with, which they were not prepared for what was about to happen to the king. Uh, and you were all dragged down to hell with Beethoven. Everyone had gotten to very briefly have an interaction with Beethoven um, and being dragged to hell. All the while, Bjorn had been enduring this transformation, this this draining of life force and being basically torn apart in a way. And the rest of the group ended up coming across this stream of unicorn blood and facing their own darkest I don't know, um, entities that they know. Opal met, re-met their mother. Europa saw Timothy Zerzog saw Tyna, both Ham and Caro saw uh, Lady Margaret, and Kairos. Kairos, I'll get it. It's yes, fine. <laughs> Kairos uh, saw her father, uh, and Kat eventually ended up seeing what appeared to be him. Barely, you all escaped by the skin of your teeth. Caro sacrificed himself to pull everyone out of hell. And a figure ends up joining your group. Um, it was 
was seemingly pushed into the circle along with you as you got teleported out. Quick thinking, Surzok, you ended up stabilizing Kara. Uh, and Yor, you quickly used laid on hands. left Caro's body to heal him. You ended up getting a side kick to the neck where you had fallen down and a blade is currently at your throat. And that's where we left off. I'm gonna heal Caro for 7 HP when I did that. When you did that? Okay. Oh, I got an extra 10 because I think someone else got I healed over 10. Yeah. Cool. So you got a 17. Yay! Um... So, uh, Opal, you have your knee wedged now uh, at this figure's throat. Well, pinning this figure down, a blade directly at him. Um, as you take a second to examine the individual, um, you do see um, you do see what appears to be a, a human staring up. Um, I want you to roll a perception check. Who would be inside? Uh, that would be if you were curious. This is actually just a visual. Oh. Oh, oh. Mm-hmm. Twenty. Wow. Actual twenty. You can see. You can see uh, past this I can see the pimples on his forehead. <laughs> <laughs> so staring at at this uh, person, you look into his kind of ice blue eyes that seem to almost be radiating some kind of energy, but looking past that, you do actually see this very confused look, and immediately you do recognize that it's Yorn. You, you feel, you see, that actual funny. Uh, <laughs> um, you feel as I seem to. You really just peer into him at the moment. And, but with your background, your witch background, um, you can almost make a connection with him as his eyes kind of pulse, and you see him screaming out at the top of his lungs, um, Ramza, and you see his eyes close and fade away, and just briefly... Oh, you're, you're telling me, describing what happened, okay. And briefly, you see him open up his eyes and there being a skeleton to where he presumably was. You just get a quick flash of that when staring at him and looking through him, basically. Okay. Um, I'm gonna, like, shake it off and then, uh, we get off of him. Kind of just, like, just disbelief of what I just saw. And kind of also, like, coming to the terms that Jordan's dead. Like his body is dead. But somehow he inhabits this body, which I recognize from past uh, moments and just kind of sitting there like, okay, so Jordan's dead. That's going to be triggered because he exists now in the body of her past lover. And this is going to be a mess. <laughs> Are you going to say anything? No, I'm kind of just standing there like, <laughs> Do I see that it's Ramza? Everyone at this point in time does notice Ramza. Yeah, or physically, I'll think of there, this black armor, um, kind of like a, a cloak behind his back. Uh, for those who haven't quite seen that, he looks very much like Bjorn, but more humanoid. But there's a, a slight glow to his eyes. There's a slight bluish glow that's there. Uh, as Opal gets off, I'm going to get back on his straddle. <laughs> <In turns. laughs> like, just as soon as you get it. And I'm going to go. <laughs> Say your name. It's Bjorn. This is fun. <laughs> Well, granted, I, I haven't seen my character. I don't know what I look like. Mm-hmm. Just so you guys know. What day is it? <laughs> <laughs> it's 
sticks out past ten on the earth. Roll a time check. Yeah, yeah. I'll do that. <laughs> sixth hour past ten on the sixth day past the solstice. Yes. <laughs> the two moons are the tides. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Wait, are there okay. moons? <laughs> nah, just... Okay, you were looking into the sky there, you <laughs> well, he's looking to this guy. <laughs> 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 How many king dodges am I holding up? Three. How about now? <laughs> Three. Ben. <laughs> 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 I'm just a, moves my hand. But I'm, I'm still straddling. I'm gonna look at my hands. <laughs> okay. Um, Sorry, should I roll perception? No, you can very easily see with your hands. Um, you just see just like these kind of black metal gauntlets Sorry. on your hands. Um, kind of just examining down. Uh, your hands seem smaller though. You're used to them Gee. being. <laughs> <laughs> You're used to having these kind of these kind of larger orc hands like. But you notice that you you seem slimmer. Uh, I whip out my mirror. I need to my steel mirror. I was gonna when I when I walk up like, who are you? So what you see is a very humanoid looking face. Um, where you had kind of just wear and tear on your face before seems to be gone. Your skin seems. Unusually smooth, um, and your eyes just have this kind of glowing, like aura about them. Are his teeth inside of his mouth now? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's no tusks. Your mouth is, uh, your beard, your hair, everything seems to be kind of what you recognize. Um, there does appear to be, as you're kind of just examining your face, there does kind of appear to be ridges on the back of your ears. Um, but otherwise, it's smooth and round mm. up until that point, uh, where you're kind of used to almost a clump. What the hell's happened to me? Uh, drop the skin skincare routine, sis. <laughs> you no longer look like yourself. I'm still straddling. My arms are just moved. <laughs> <laughs> Legs locked. <laughs> I saw some things, but I feel like this isn't really the place to be. We should probably head back to that. It'd be safest, I'd say. Can I, like, break straight out of the window and start stabbing me? What the fuck is going on here? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> so you see this little box kind of get, like, slightly in between, um, yeah, uh, Bjorn and Cat. Just kind of just quick, like, just quickly, like, just separates <laughs> and just is confused beyond belief. Wait, what are you doing here? You're from that White House. What are you doing here? Who are you? I'm Bjorn. Well... Who's Bjorn? I don't... I think proper introductions need to be made. Let's make camp. And all the while, um, you two... Actually, um... Cairo. Cairo's passive perception and Opal's passive perception. Uh, you end up seeing just these glowing eyes kind of... Now just staring at your potty, uh, party. Uh, at your potty. No one. Uh, just just in the darkness. Uh, you do see that almost like the, that predator glow that you see uh, if something's being hunted. Just kind of just eyes everywhere staring at your group. I'm going to whip out. I have a torch, right? I kept all of my like. My you don't have a torch. So I don't have like anything, just my weapons and armor. That's it. Okay, I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna attach. I'm gonna cast light on the hilt. Okay. Uh, it kind of illuminates 120 feet around. Uh, you can tell that whatever is looking at you is deep in the forest. What am I doing? What are you doing, Carl? You're like, I feel like I, you have like more HP than I do. 
I do. Um, I have Wait, so he is at your side. He has been holding you this whole time. I feel like I took a huge hit. Extreme. I'm assuming I know I can see these eyes too. Oh, yes, everyone can see. I'm going to motion Beethoven to help me up with his hand. And uh, Beethoven gets on up and extends a hand and he grips a hold of your, your arm and just kind of lifts you up and grasps a hold of you and just kind of holds you there for a moment. So nice. I'm going to tell him that I need a shoulder. Yep. And I'm going to look at everyone else and be like, if this predator's out here, I think I take quite a bit of a hit. I need to make it back to the end. I'm going to sit this one out. And as uh, Carl's kind of been lifted over to one shoulder, um, Beethoven turns to both Norn and Serzak and just kind of mouths, thank you. And as he's bringing him forward, he's, he's they're kind of being pulled forward. Uh, I mean, <laughs> oh! Oh! Let oh. Beethoven hear that. Like, Devil! Um, <laughs> this is this is friend, not food. Um, Beethoven. He he's he's Carlos' special friend. Oh, yes. you talk we're talking about before. This special friend. Uh, I think it best to move back to the end. We should not stand much longer out here. Uh, I'm gonna start walking back. Okay. Everyone else. I'll start walking back. Okay. Everyone good? All right. Um, in that case, you guys make it your way around. You see uh, the kind of like slight little barn area where um, Skull and uh, Nyla are at, and they kind of are perked up, just kind of whining a little bit. The cave they've been locked in uh, for their own protection, but you can tell that they were they're scratching and just nervous uh, as you walk along by. I'm gonna just walk by uh, Jared. Head into the bar just to try and calm them down a little bit. Okay. So Opal's in there, everyone else is making their way into the bar. Right here. Okay. All right. I am following Bjorn and closely inspecting him the whole time. So, Kat, you see that he is a, a little bit shorter um, than what, what you are used to with Bjorn. Uh, still tall. Uh, but, so sorry, you that. <laughs> but you can see that um, his attire, everything seems to be slightly scorched, um, possibly from where you have been drugged out of. Uh, but there, like a lot, of, everything seems to be a little tattered, a little like it had been on fire at some point in time. Um, but you make your way into the into the inn. And there's a, quite a bit more people actually here now. Um, it seems that you're not entirely sure of how much time has passed, but at this point in time, you might think that it's probably in, at night time. You all make your way inside. It looks like Torrance is quite busy making different <laughs> drinks. Um, there seems to be like a like a, a troop of guards that were that came from Siren's Bell. You immediately recognize the attire, the black kind of uh, almost bug-like element. Um, as they're sitting down at the, the tavern, having a drink, kind of being merry. Um, Ham, you actually see um, the dwarfs that you had met in Siren's Bell, chilling there, just kind of making a ruckus. Um, you see one of them is headbutting the other, and reading. Um, they're all having a good time. It seems like this place is much livelier than what it was in the morning. Um, but it's still a small establishment, but it seems that it's, you're able to find a place to sit uh, in the corner that you initially went in, but otherwise the place is full. So, would you like to explain what happened and why we went through the nine circles of hell? Yeah, let's uh, let's get some drinks. Why? Coming. Yeah. You're yeah. tired. I'm gonna come back in after. Uh, let's find a table. Finish calming them. So. Okay, and we are up with you during that. Oh, we are too. too. So, uh, well, she's very. Uh, Europe is very quiet. Uh, you can probably see just from. 
the Nisi Timothy during that moment has kind of taken her back a little bit. And you kind of put two and two together when it comes to the um, what you recall that concept as well. But she's very quiet and she sits down uh, with the three. Well, for starters, I want to thank you all for traveling down there. My, uh, I wanted to communicate with, with uh, Ramza, try to save him. He got, as we were talking, he, the por- this portal opened up from underneath him, and I tried to grab him. And unfortunately, um, he got sucked in with it. And when I got there, found out who this crawling king is. It is an ancient evil that is very unfolding. It was not it wasn't good. I remember this heiress person coming and pulling me do anything. I was strapped to this cross. Um, the other Ramza was sitting down and I felt the life drain from me. As I was fading out, I all of a sudden woke up on this chair. The chair that I that I saw Ramza in. And then I heard a voice telling me to follow. So I did and I ended up but when I got there, as I was seeing all of you, I wasn't able to move. And then all of a sudden, Harris whispered, go have fun, and threw me into the pits. So I don't know what's happened to me um, fully. She must have done something to me, pumped me with this white fluid. So you're saying Ares pumped you full of white fluid? Anyways, so. (laughs) (laughs) I saw other beings there that I've never seen before. Who are they? I saw this huge giant dragon, twice the size of all of us. Five times the size. <laughs> Jesus. Gigantic. I saw this other woman that looked very similar to you. With that white strand hair. I saw Margaret. Who I thought was dead because Ramza, I thought, killed her. From before. And I saw this little fox person. Who I've never really seen before. You're the only other one that I saw with a tire I've never seen. It's very weird. You're very weird. Look. Okay. <laughs> Fox person doesn't know. Like, you haven't even introduced yourself to anybody yet, have you? I think she's a I don't think I ever know anyone. Well, here's a good introduction, Scott. Beethoven kind of leans in inquisitively. Oh, and you. <laughs> Who are you? Ah, I'm Phaeton. And he kind of gives a gesture, a bow. Um, I look over to Carl and I'm like, oh. <laughs> I'm just, just Carl's too tired. He's like, what? It's my silent applause. <laughs> Good. And if you have information, beyond that, um, I am a uh, dead young man. Very particular. Uh, very There. Um, and I have been alongside all of you for a very long time. Well, since we all met. 
So why are you coming out just now? Why didn't you come out like months ago? wanted to keep me in the closet. Mm. Oh. <laughs> Well, everybody, like... everybody has their own personal time for coming out, and we are all very happy for Tom. Oh, everybody applauded it. Okay, we're very Why supportive. Why were you keeping them in a closet? No, it was not an actual closet. It was a it physical was closet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna. Not, not the real closet. It was keeping him a secret. Oh, he said physical closet. Oh. A physical closet. Yeah, no, he kept me in a physical closet this whole time. What was in the closet? It was, there's totem, there's a little bottle of food, and he would give me one every night. I mean, like, eat now. <laughs> you put the food in a bottle? What brand? You had to make him break the bottle <laughs> to get the food? I'm like, I'm like, you know, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, he has been very useful to me this journey, and the timing just wasn't right. I'll be clear, I've learned to trust you all a little bit more, but he's also been very useful in ways that you've not known. A lot of the information we've had along this way, a lot of the scouting we've had, is because Beethoven can exist not only our plane, but the astral plane. Sounds like it's more than just useful. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like he's a core part of the team, I'd say. Well, he's the reason we were able to go to hell and do that. <laughs> ah, so thank well, you. Well, in that sir. case, I should get you a drink. No, I would love why? <laughs> at this point in time, there is actually a kind of like a silver platter that is floating, and actually just delivered right in between you. There is wine. There's assorted drinks. Is it cheese? There is a small. <laughs> there's actually a little security board. Is there cheese? I like snatch it. <laughs> I snatch cheese? it and like give you a little sneak eye. <laughs> but uh, you all have. Uh, there's an assortment there. There's. Uh, a wine, there's Nicholas Blood Mead, there's Cat's Cabernet, there is um, just a few ales kind of going around in a tanker. Uh, there's a big jug of water. For our sober members. Yes. Who's sober? <laughs> oh, <laughs> sober <now. laughs> no, I don't like mead anymore. <laughs> uh, but you all are able to grab whatever you feel like. Do you want, Do you want any soda? You could you could you could put fruit in your water and it like has a little infusion if you if you feel bored with the flavor. We're about to move. Don't worry about it. Just everyone enjoy your drinks. If you are you appear to be human. Um, do not drink like you have your heart. <laughs> just like passion. <passionate>. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, those dwarves over there are kind of challenging. Is Beethoven still very inquisitive. Who are they? Oh, I her up, I'm just, <laughs> I'll pick her up by the, like, the nape of her neck. Like a fucking scrub. The scrub. It doesn't hurt them. No, it doesn't hurt. I just thought it's humiliating. Oh, you know. <laughs> 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 it's funny, it sucks. I don't what you've had. That's so yeah. rude. I'll be able to hear your and you're not picking up short people. <laughs> <laughs> this is why you need lotion. And then you see Sarzak just kind of holding this little fox person just, just, like, just swinging back, back and forth. Sarzak, <laughs> 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 do you mind? Sarzak, put it down. Oh, she speaks. More than, more, than one, more than two words at a time. <laughs> I'm oh, scared, Lizard I'm gonna, Man. <laughs> I'm gonna just reach out my hand. I'm Ramza. Or Bjorn. Sorry. It's very sweet. Catch me. Bro's mixing, head spinning. <laughs> What's your name? Well, I guess since we've been to Helen back, my name is Kairos. Kairos, okay. Kairos. You're not from here, are you? I don't think I've ever seen you in a race before. No. She's from Noel. No. No. Right? No. Yeah. Yes. How do you spell Kairos? Uh, K-A-I-R-O-S. Oh. K-A-I-R-O-S. Kairos. 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 I've never met one, but my mother has. She has quite an extensive library. Before um, 
my village is going to be. I'm going to hell. Okay, trauma dumper. No. <laughs> Who's dumping trauma? I yes. I saw my dead mother. We were all there. there. What so, happened? I don't know. Um, she was defending our village, and she, then she turned into a creature I'd never seen before, and. Uh, after I got some distance from the fighting, I created this wall of fire between the assassins and the rest of my sisters, and that was the last I ever saw of them. I wasn't able to move my body, but I did hear something. From what I heard, and what she was saying, she said she did this to protect you. Do you think there's some good in there, or something? I noticed when I was talking to Ramza that there was still good in him. So I I don't I don't know what I could have done. Mm. You do see uh, Europa kind of just powdery kind of swishing her water around and she says, um, seems to see his group. But he was uh, Necessarily, Iris, but the people she works with. She said that she doesn't work with people that are good. I don't think that's necessarily a virtue. I think she works with people who are evil. And Lady Margaret wasn't always evil, as we saw. She was desperate. I imagine it's the same with your mother. She was desperate, and she made a decision. It seems these people are puppets. They did say that they were acolytes of the fallen king. Well, that that's just it then. All of these individuals consulting with Eris means that they have they have abandoned the last possible shred of, of humanity that existed within them. We saw Ramza's story. Ramza's decision was not his own. Eris did that. Others won't do that. But according to my mother, that decision was his. We don't know the full story, right? Did no, you see but it? I think what Opal's saying is that um, she made the choice, and that's what they that's are. What that's what matters. Thank you. Pardon the pun, but the road to hell is paved with them. <laughs> I thought it was a paved with them. <laughs> Carl's gonna dismiss himself and like kind of give a nod to like Beethoven. I think Beethoven sense like the, all the chatter with the meeting people and being one on one with him not the whole time. Wait, yeah. Oh, before you go. <laughs> I'm a nod to Beethoven. I, I'm like, I'm exhausted. Uh, dying will do that to you. And before I leave, I'm emotionless. I'm be like, we're even now. And I'm like, we're even. I'll leave it at that. He said thank you. And then I'm emotionless to Beethoven. I'm like, do stay. Uh, commune. I, I'm gonna like pass my glass to him and be like, have fun. You don't get to do this all thing. Yeah. And I'm gonna retire to a room. Wait. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Um, yeah. I'm gonna grab Carl before he walks away, and I'm gonna look over at Beethoven. Correct me if I'm wrong, but you're the reason why I couldn't link his mind with the rest of us. Well, the rest of us. All of us. May I? Do you want to join me? No. Sure. Well, I have an important information to show you. And you can share that with me at a later time. My mind is my own. Respect it. Opal. You may be me. Ah, yes. Oh, come on, Caro. Please join the group chat. I don't like Opal. It's all, it's good. She's tolerable. Listen, I'm listen. Gonna, so that, it's not, it's not invasive. It is a tool that we use when mm. we are not able to vocally speak to each other. Mm -hmm. You may miss out on the information. I'm gonna... I was vulnerable enough in allowing you all to see Beethoven. I'd like to keep things there, please. The last thing I'll say to Carl before he goes. I understand you might not have a lot of experience with telepaths. Um, it's not a tool, it's true. 
what I use for them is, is, a, is a scratch on the surface of what I can do with it. I don't take anything that is not mine. I don't wander in your mind. I just use it for communication. Honestly, I've been in the closet this whole time. I didn't, I didn't even know we had quite a group chat. So, now you can blame him for that. Uh, I'm gonna... I want to be have, a part of this party. You have fun. <laughs> Let's get him. I'm going to retire now. I'll relay things. Uh, so then... Carl request denied. Literally blocks. No, no. no. Uh, <laughs> message Opal. turns green. Opal, Opal adds Caro to the chat, and like a second later, Caro has left the group chat. <laughs> <laughs> like some, call me dirty. <laughs> <laughs> Stop, that's on camera. <laughs> 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 okay, so Caro's left. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and I'll, I'll just link up with you and everyone else. So I have to roll for that, right? So sorry, I got distracted by something else. I nod. Um, so I'll, I have to roll just to link you with everybody else. Yes. Easy link up. Boom! Okay, so um, it's kind of just like everyone just feels like a little twinge in their brains. It's like a. Mm. Yeah. Um, can I sh can I use that roll to show all of them what I saw when I looked um, into Norm's eyes? You can. Uh, just bear in mind, uh, Kairos. Kairos. Kairos, Kairos is, is a new one. Okay. It, she hasn't been here that long. Yeah. <laughs> well, they might be big, but they can't hear anything. So yes, you can share that. Sends multimedia message to her. So you guys basically all see Bjorn strapped to the table and screaming and dying and disintegrating and nothing left, nothing's left but a skeleton. And then you see Ramza, but like it feels a hundred percent like Bjorn. Do I have like an enemy in my <laughs> Absolutely horrible. My if you tell somebody <laughs> before you put that in their heads, <laughs> if you see something, say the group chat's not an open invitation. To Almost that. said, let's trauma dump some more. <laughs> I, just, really I just wanted everyone to be on the same page of what happened, and I don't think that Bjorn can adequately explain what happened if he doesn't remember. He died. His physical form no longer exists. And now you are in this form that is eerily similar to to my beloved grandson. I am very confused. There's no aspects of it. I'm not familiar with this one. Me too. Is it soul binding something Whatever. of that nature? Well, after I downloaded that, um, the um, what? seen this happen, and it requires a an extreme amount of magic. Um, but essentially, the form that we've all witnessed, even though it appeared physical to us, it was very much a, an entity of the astral realm. Uh, didn't quite have a body. Even though physically we could interact with it, it wasn't like flesh like we had. Um, you can do that again. <laughs> so this, en this entire time, unbeknownst to Bjorn himself, we were traveling with a, a what's the word? Um, uh, a container? I would say so. For a, a soul. So it was a husk. It's hard to say. I mean, you had your own thoughts, you had your own minds. You're as real as I think that if a great magic like that, you and Opal could, could probably understand this more than anyone, you have to sacrifice something to gain something. Um, more than likely what was happening was that your old body was sacrificed to curate your new body. Yeah, but I saw Ramza. I don't quite know what to think. Look in the mirror. So, you have Ramses' body, do you have any of Ramses' memories? Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm 
minute question. No. <laughs> <laughs> what did we do on the sixth night um, when we were in Caesar? Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, 18, 18 minus <laughs> 1, 17. 17. Uh, uh, you actually don't really recall anything that involves Rex, other than yeah, just the high rule. 31. <laughs> Quick cast guidance. Do it. Muscle. But, um, yeah, you don't, you can't recall anything from that, that life. You just know that you, your flesh was decomposed and resurrected, and you now are in a different body. But very much, it still feels like you. It actually. I'd say with that roll, you feel like there is a certain weight on your shoulders that is now gone. Right? <laughs> <laughs> My character wasn't on the computer, so <laughs> That's why you brushed him really good. <laughs> All right, well, we literally had a hell of a day, so I am going to go party with those other dwarves. <laughs> I'm gonna pull out my uh, and again my loot and just start throwing <laughs> <Speaking forward. out. laughs> <laughs> See, I'm any for wrestling contest on you? Might be able to provoke one. Yes. Uh, so what is everyone doing? Ham is getting up and getting a drink. I'm going to for fun. Okay. Uh, Carl, you're already beginning I'm in a room. running up to yeah, going up to your own room. Uh, Bjorn and Opal, what are you guys doing? Uh, so real quick, what's your Okay. And so, what are you doing? Or are you guys doing? What are you doing? I want to challenge. You know what? You know, challenge. Yeah, challenge. <laughs> All right. Let's go. Armor St. Thomas. Let's get it going. Okay. Are you guys going to try to get people involved? Yes. All right. So, I'll go ahead and begin with this and then make our way around. Um, so, uh, Ham. You get up and you kind of walk on over to where all the other dwarves and you need to be greeted. Oh, look at there! Our great Ham is back. What'd you do? You look like you've been through hell. <laughs> yeah. As you can see, the beard unfortunately burned off. Oh, uh, is that what you <laughs> well, uh, there. You can see but, that. But what about yourselves? You're just following in the foots of a hero or? Oh, that's... Couldn't get enough of me. <laughs> we couldn't help but go ahead and follow, see what other mystery you're up to. Isn't that right, Dorn? Oh, yeah. We've been waiting. We actually kind of thought you had left and kept going. Just so happens that you, we, we did all right when you were. Good to see you, boy. You headed over to your, your uncle. Chris. Uh, probably the morning will cross it out. A few days travel. We're actually heading back ourselves. Probably even moving over there a little bit later. But maybe a day or two. Well, it's a pretty dangerous road ahead. My buddy here says it's no place for weak dwarves. Oh, weak dwarves. We traveled the seas to go over the side of Bell. You know that. We remember. But well, if you're, you're so confident, why not put your purse? On the table. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Show me your purse. Yeah. <laughs> Let me see you. Open Let your purse. Let's see the gold. <laughs> oh, you got a dollar in there, why are you lying? <laughs> <laughs> I can see it right there, why are you lying? Well, I have a better yet. I put my crock where my mouth is. <laughs> what? <laughs> can you, you guys can have a sauce? <laughs> my hands on my right. You want to do a, see a little straight chest, are you? Yes. All right. This go, little man. As I'm looking, he's looking. Like, who's that little man? He puts his arm out. You hear just this big thud. All right. The, and then a quick grasp. 
slaps together. Is this athletic or is this strength? This is strength. Got it. All right. Walk by waving like a rat, like it's a (laughs) bull. It's gonna be like. And this other dwarf kind of gets up and looking at both of them, punching their arms and elbows. Good to go. Are you ready? (laughs) All right. Three, two, one, go. Nineteen. Natural twenty. Oh! Oh, Twenty-one. <laughs> ah! So you feel so you, you feel this going back a little bit. Roll again. You feel like you're getting a little torn back, a little disheveled. Not quite feeling like eighteen. Uh, fifteen plus four, nineteen. Oh, uh, well, actually, I forgot twenty. So twenty. So you feel a little bit going back up. But you're still going on the back because of that natural 20. Roll again. God damn that natural 20. 21. 21? Only oh got a 6. <laughs> and I bring you back up. You're back up to the middle. Go again. Ah. Oh my god, god. 17. 17. You're locked together. You just kind of see this kind of sweat going down and his nostrils are flaring. <sighs> <laughs> you're strong! <laughs> Do it again. 15. 16. Uh, oh. Ah, you see his face just getting like darker. His skin is kind of that of a uh, like, uh, gray, but you can see a little bit of a flush in his cheeks. Come on, roll again. Can I help him with like egging him on? I don't have guidance, but can I help him? With you can cheer. Oh, yeah, can we cheer him on? Can we cheer him on? Give him the uh, oh, 20. Advantage. 20. So I get that, and he starts pulling back him. Oh, come on, sir. You can just see like the red in his ear. I'm already yes. really got a good roll. So. roll again. Come on, Sir Zock. 18. 24. Oh, 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 oh. That's right. He's, yeah. Don't forget oh. the illustration. Use it. I might have to. Uh, can, I, can, I, can I use Spartacus for Go me? again! <laughs> 13. 10. Come on back! <laughs> you can see him getting a little tired. Mine. You're yeah. strong! Yeah. Dragonborn! Six. Six? Six. You get uh, back. I use a bar of inspiration. A bar of inspiration? Yeah. Well, I, take out my, <laughs> uh, I take out my, my loot. <laughs> 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 you know, roll again. 14. 14 plus? Oh, it, uh, it's a uh, 1d6. Let's go. Here's yeah. Here's Sam. Come on, boy. So, 18. 18? You get pulled back, he's like, right at the edge, right at the edge. Uh, 13, do I still use yeah, the Yeah, it does, yeah. yeah. Oh, sweet. Uh, 15. Oh. Yes! Yes! <laughs> he gets up and he's like, just pumped up on adrenaline. He kind of grabs a hold of you. Hits you in the head. Great job, boy. Oh. And he gives you 20 gold pieces. Man of my word, I think that you'll do just fine on the road. <laughs> That'll buy you a Any of his buddies? <laughs> just everyone just kind of is riled up. Uh, I'm going to put a pin in there. Um, Opal, you're seeing this commotion going around. Uh, cat got up and just, just sh- shredding it as this, uh, as this is happening. Um, you're alone with Beethoven and, um, Kairos. Kairos. Uh, you've witnessed this before, you just couldn't say anything. Oh, yes. I've been here. This is the kind of shit that the men of the group tend to get involved in. Interesting. It's fun. And, you know, everyone has to blow up steam in their own way. Yes. I mean... The last time I think I was the last time I think I felt super relaxed was when we were back in Siren Spell and it was an amazing scene. And me and my fellow sisters, Europa and Kat, just wanted to take a bubble bath, but it was so They were all so hentai. <laughs> you were there for that too! <laughs> Can I see if I heard that? <laughs> oh my There's a lot of commotion where you're at. Me too. just like, oh my god. <laughs> well done, Lord. Like holding my <laughs> <laughs> kind of gets up and just kind of says, I'm going to bed now. I am very tired. Europa, if you would like, um, you can take the rest of the water. 
<laughs> she seems a little bit of a, like of a chair, and she, you see her walking up, just kind of like stumbly, kind of gets away from the crowd, and Torrance like gives her a nod, um, and kind of follows up to where Carla was, and it's just the three of them. That's your. She's kind of like always. Like, Carla's like, she's like, she's like, she's like, sweet potato, <laughs> sweet potato pie. <laughs> It is a closet. It is a physical closet. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so bizarre. It's also a gaslighting truck. <laughs> I mean, I mean, make you more open to talking about stuff. Because um, full full disclosure, we have all been through a lot of trauma in this group, and and cards get laid out on the table whether you like it or not. Yeah, I'm starting to realize that. Not to pry, but I feel like you might be allowed to remember some of this. I distinctly remember hearing when we were all 
all surrounded by uh, demons. Demons, yes. Was that someone of importance in yourself? You could say that. Well, like I said, um, not something I ever really wanted to be. It's quite all right. That's why I came here. Must have searching for something. Oh, what thing? Scrolls or uh, jewelry? Um, a chisel. But I need it from outside, so. You then? Oh, yeah. There's wolves up there. Are a you chisel sure? there. That doesn't sound like a good show. But, uh, I just need it. Hmm. Very direct. Not to say that you have to tell us, it's just we like to know who we're trying to know. I think a lot of us is Aiden still down there? Aiden is. Is he sitting with us? Am He's I am I with you guys too? Because you're with us. Okay, cool. Yeah. So, sorry, I, I, I forgot that you had not actually gotten that like, right. um, We're very direct in this group, so we tend to ask very forward questions because recently, and I'm just gonna look over at Aiden. A lot of us have been hit with um, a lot of information I think some of us would rather have had to start with as this journey has trudged on. Yes. I apologize. I'm not ready to be a person. You have this chisel, right? Are you ready? Yeah, I need it. You need it, okay. Well, if you think you can get this chisel on your own, power to you, but if you need our help, then we'll probably need some information on being able to help you get this chisel that you might come forward with. Well, you said you were familiar with the mountains. Are any of you heading that way? Um, okay. I believe we added that stop once witch hunters tried to get us. Yes. Uh, a few of us are headed in that direction. Maybe I can tag along and explain myself a little more. Girls trip. Girls trip. I mean, Goddess knows that this group could use more female adventures. Yeah. Or just more fun ones in general. <laughs> I just want to get the outfits for her. <laughs> she did shop it. This time you can hear like this cheer, this uh, just this roar that ends up happening from Sir's office. He Keep ends playing. up getting, you know, keeps playing, going back and forth with different uh, dwarves. Um, you're starting to see a little bit of like discoloration on his forehead, <laughs> getting headbutted doesn't that much. Uh, uh, Sir's office ends up getting 15 more gold while this is happening. Yes. And Ham, uh, you've also accumulated. Oh. You like yes. Yeah. Man, it's my favorite. I'll save his hand right there. <laughs> um, oh, yeah, because you have your stuff stolen. You, you put a hand in that, uh, Caro. Uh, you made your way upstairs. Uh, you find yourself a woman in the room. Hell what yeah. are you? Um, I'm at, am I in my old room? You're in your old room. The one that you were in. So you can kind of see out, and you can still see where that giant tree was off into the distance. Kind of wrapping around the cusp of the mountainside. Uh, I'm going to go over my night things. I know we left our, our wine there. Yeah. I'm going to pick up the old glass of wine. Yeah. And I'm going to go sit in my chair. Okay. And just stare out the window and reflect on all the events that have happened. Absolutely. Because um, Carl Pitt nearly died. Yeah. Carl Helen died. You died in Burden now? That's a lot. Well, I died outside of Hell's Heart. He burned and died. Uh, one could say during the traverse of the nine hells, you died during one of them. Yeah. <laughs> so you were spared. 
Yeah, yeah we yeah. loved you. That's so wild. Yeah. So as you're reflecting off it into the distance, you start kind of thinking about just the 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 travels almost like the light that flashed before your eyes. You kind of are once seeing Lady Margaret again and it's bringing back just these old feelings and her mentioning um, your father just briefly just kind of makes your blood boil just slightly. And as you're just kind of staring off, you see a giant, well, you had seen previously before going into the Mesquite Caves, a giant rock, a huge bird, just kind of actually making its nest now in where you can hear where that giant tree is. Uh, but you're just kind of reflecting on just your past and almost the thought of how much better life is compared to how it was back then. You're seeing Margaret's face, having flashes of your own father's face. And life, I don't know, it, it seems like it, it's going somewhere. Feel relief that Beethoven's downstairs doing God knows what, but this is having a good time. <laughs> having a good time. A good time. But you stare at your, your journey, kind of just lifting it up, and you see the red of the wine as you twirl it in the moonlight as it goes through the glass. The only spells that I know 
pertain to a very specific type of magic, um, witchcraft and, and, and Wicca. I, I don't know how well it would fare on a paladin. Sorry, Mr. Shepard. I don't even know. It, 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 again, also, exactly. I, That's what I'm worried about. I, I, I don't know how the magic will affect you. Honestly, I don't even know how it will work. Um, no magic spells to put me in cups, at least. Those type of cells are higher in training and knowledge. If I did it now, it, it, it would maybe be like a half the base. I, I don't necessarily know how successful it would be, and honestly, I could do more damage than 30. I mean, I'm willing to take the chance, but I don't want to see this party again. Bad things happen to us. Um, you hear this crash behind you. <laughs> and you look behind you and you see like a half naked dwarf. You fucking cheated! And they're just like jumps on one of the other dwarves and they oh. just you see this brawl kind of going out. Um, continue. <laughs> <laughs> you can keep going. <laughs> just see some dwarf. I thought they were too much. I thought Ham was just like naked or something. Right. No, yeah. you, oh, we're not getting half naked. It's me. <laughs> <laughs> You do it, then they're gonna all do it. Um, I'm just, I'm just looking for my spell. Oh yeah, you're good. No, tie him up. I could talk to Pedro to find too. See if he knows anything. Some chains. What's that? Tie him up. Just like, not the bad. If he wakes up, swear at least. Is there another type of spell? I mean, I know that, that when, I know that when I've got... Whole person, technically, but... Um, that's, like, that's, that's a concentration, right? Yeah. That'd be... All might be, if you're, if you're worried about that, maybe... Um, just go... I can talk to Beethoven. That was my next guess. Yeah, maybe I mean, the only... Like, spots and... The only, like, spell that I know that isn't technically, like, a spell that I can put in my inventory was the spell that I did when I bound my sisters. Mm -hmm. Ouch. And I... That, it would... When I don't... I thought that too. It's a very specific type of magic and, and I think witchcraft innately is, is sorcerer in origin. It's, it's that innate magic for someone who was a paladin, I don't know what you are now, that, that comes from a, an entity, not something that you may yeah. have. So for, for the disclosure, my character is a paladin, but he doesn't know, like, basically, what is in the case. It's one of those situations fight. where you don't need fancy, fancy things. You I mean, you can try it. Um, if, 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 magic, if magic isn't the answer, then um, I think more mundane means would be a better fix. Chains, maybe rope. But, I, like I said, I mean, even with magic, uh, the, a, a, physical, a physical binding, I don't know how well it would work, as in, like, I, I'm not familiar with this body, and neither, neither are you. If this person was with Eris for so long, I, I don't know what things this physical form might know. So, uh, there could be counters to things like rope or shackles, or, or even magic. Um, I'm sorry that I can't help you, but um, maybe, yeah, maybe, maybe Beethoven would be of more help. I'll talk to you. Thank you. Yes, while we're I would like to um, saddle up next to Aiden. And just try to like, can I have a drink of your work? What does that mean? <laughs> Sometimes I wish he would stop haunting me like this. You, you had more time with him. What did he say? More time with you on him. No, I, I really didn't talk to him. Um, when I 
I saw him when we were back to back. Um, he gets to him and it looks like Bjorn does now. I mean, it wasn't Bjorn, I guess. Um, but there really wasn't. Um, there really wasn't anything that it said to me. Okay. Do you think it's clear that it's now? Do you think Bjorn has any apprentices? Any apprentice with him? Maybe not him. I don't know. I want to say. I, I've never seen magic like this. <coughs> You see that Serzak ends up like just stumbling a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, somebody got headbutted way too many needs times. Someone your wounds on that boy. That man is going to die of bunk. <laughs> <laughs> I how, how much damage did I take it from headbutts? No damage. Really? Yeah, uh, I, I was like ready. I was ready to start so healing you myself. Only, like the only thing about being a dragonborn is you have a flat top. That's true. It's a protective. Plate. He's got a weird head to protect the pea sized brain you have in there. <laughs> hey, hey, was how, there. How do I want to make more stuff? It's not uh, pea sized, it's like a print. Maybe, maybe I can conjure it somehow. It's, it's too, it's, it looks too much like it. Honestly, it's annoying, but. <laughs> it's, it's weird, but he has no memory. Mm-hmm. I want to try something. Okay. I'm going to take out the old ones that were weak. And then I'm going to play a song that I did with him back in in Apple. With Graham back in Apple. To see if it would um, trigger something. Trigger something. So at the moment, uh, he's outside with mm-hmm. uh, we'll put a pin in that. Did you want something? Yeah, I just when they leave. Um, should I just like scan the room and see if there's any victims? <laughs> any victims? Yeah. <laughs> like dead people? Or no, it's not like a pickpocket. It's a rob. Oh, it's a rob. Go ahead and roll a perception. It's Robbie. She's actually massive. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? Yeah, she's like massive. Nice. Oh, yeah. She's the big bad. It's me. Hi. I'm the problem with me. The calling king of this little town. Ten. So you just see like it, there's a lot of people kind of Busying around, you see uh, Pam. Oh my god! Uh, <laughs> Don't see me. Pam and <laughs> Serzok just kind of going from table to table, getting sloshier and sloshier, and, and it seems like the dwarves are getting a little bit more rowdy. One stands up onto a, a table and accuses the other of cheating, and now they're just hanging out and being friends. It, there's a lot of chaos happening yeah. at the moment. You don't particularly. Pinpoint an easy opportunity because there's just so much movement. Sure. Um, <laughs> is there like a big group of people around, or are they all kind of like in smaller? They're all in kind of like smaller areas. Okay. Can I like find a group or a few people that look pretty busy and like slip under the table, kind of? Yeah. Like try to take pocket of them. So with that roll, I'll say that you do see like kind of. Just Two looking uh, like two brows uh, sitting at a table, just kind of enjoying what's happening in front of them with the rowdiness of the dwarves. Uh, go ahead and do a stealth check. Yeah. Uh, Twenty-one. Twenty-one. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So you're looking, kind of looking at, at this group, thinking that you might be able to, you might be able to get, get in there. Um, you get a little close to them, and you're just looking down, just trying to, they're moving a little bit, you're behind. Um, uh, behind you, you're, <clears throat> you kind of just look up, and you're just kind of just pretending like you aren't doing anything, and you see torrent looking. And just kind of cleaning a, a couple of glasses off. Okay. He just looks at the door and like, Do you win? 
Keep going. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Go ahead and do a slime hand check. <laughs> they were rolling the little one. Get him like the cute smile you got. Like, Why? <laughs> nice job. Slide of hand, 15. Wait. 4. 4. 13. 13. So you reach oh, up to, to kind of <laughs> go up and try and see if you can grab the purse, and when you do, um, you kind of almost slip a little bit, and you look. You fall to the ground, you look up, and you see the drow man actually looking down at you, just very curious. And you hear behind him, uh, Barmaid, you're so clumsy, come over here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and you kind of get up and you, you see Torrent looking at you, just kind of like, why? <laughs> why would you do that? But, but he has like a cheeky grin on his face and, and brings you around to the corner. And you're behind the bar uh, now, and he's like, what are you doing? Shiny. Oh. <laughs> you're just such a big commotion. I know you have sticky fingers. I've already seen you pick one off the dwarf. <laughs> <laughs> but, <laughs> try and be some <laughs> As you're kind of up. being slightly like <laughs> scolded a little bit, as if it's like a, a parent to a child, um, behind you, uh, Kara ends up coming down the stairs, and Kara, you do notice um, Kyra, uh, Kyra looking up at Torrent as he kind of has like a just a playful smile, but but a stern look in his eyes. Um, you just see that interaction, and you take a look over, and you see just dwarves kind of happily and merrily now just drinking themselves. Um, it seems like the wrestle that there was some emotion below you that you heard. It seems like things have mellowed down a little bit. Uh, but you do notice Cat and um, Aiden kind of talking in the corner. Um, what are you? Um, I'm going to talk to Torrent. Um, you see Torrent just kind of like looking down cheekily at, at this little fox and notices you. Oh, Kara, how, how are you? I'm fine. How are you this lovely evening? Oh, I'm doing very well. And he kind of like just. He's starting to like shoot um, oh arrow a little and just see just kind of, the table. <laughs> kind of scurry off. Um, uh, I thought you had the tattoo. I changed my mind. I, I figured I can stay up for another hour or so. Oh, that's what you need to do. Close to the bar. <laughs> he says the bar's done. <laughs> what can I get? Like, um, well, I've been having a lot of wine lately. Surprise me with something like like different. <gasps> Fire drink. <laughs> it's a national drink, but I thought it would be funny because he's a wizard. <laughs> <laughs> so, of course. Uh, are you wanting something stronger? I'm just gonna make it two, but surprise me. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see him pop open this kind of very. Um, it looks like it, um, very similar to what you had seen outside, uh, the bioluminescent mushrooms on the outside. But you see that kind of bioluminescentness in this bottle. All right, we're going back to hell. <laughs> Pops one up. And he's a pouring in. You said two, right? Yes. Oh. And you see him take two glasses of this and he kind of shakes it up and swirls it. And then on the inside, you see a little bit of magic of just like almost like a little thunderstorm happening in the glass. Where you see little flashes kind of happen where there's this bioluminescent liquid. Two hurricanes. <laughs> Good to know. <laughs> <laughs> They're very strong. Not hurricanes. Uh, as you take the two glasses, you're going to be making your way over to where Beethoven um, and Kat and Aiden are. Uh, at this 
point in time, uh, Bjorn uh, is coming through the door, um, as well as Opal making their way over to the table. And I'm going to say that the rest of you sit. Uh, Han and Serzok, are you guys still where you're at, or are you joining the party? Yeah, we're rocking the door. All right. Yeah. Still happening. Uh, all right. I'm taking all their money. And Cairo. Um, Cairo. Cairo. Uh, what are you up to? <laughs> it's highway robbery. It's, it's, it's I chose a table farther away, though. Okay. Okay. Where it's on your side. So, uh, you all, uh, then I'll put a pin in that. <laughs> <laughs> um, so the rest of the group ends up getting into the table that you all are with. Um, Caro, as you get ready to sit down, you notice everyone kind of get nice and stuffed in. Um, what are you up to? I'm at the table. You're at the table now. You're kind of standing. You see Bjorn and Opal sit down in front of you, joining Aiden and um, Catherine. I'll uh, give one glass to Beethoven. Okay. And because it looks a little squashed, I'm just going <laughs> to need you both to roll up and chug it. But I'm just going to stand next to the booth. Stand next to the booth? Because it looks oh. squashed. Welcome back. Were you not tired? Cheers, Carl. Cheers. I was going to talk to Beethoven, but I know Kat had something that they wanted to do first. So I was going to wait. If you want to. Uh, so you're gonna, you said you were going to yeah, do something. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to make my way over to like a taller area. I'll probably go sit at the bar oh. and stand uh, on so the bar bench. Kat kind of gets up, making room for Carl, and uh, oh, thanks. Makes their way <laughs> towards the bar. I'll, uh, I'll sit next to Beethoven. Okay. <laughs> sit next to Beethoven. Beethoven they, uh, smiles and they tink their glasses together. And Beethoven wraps his arm around Carl. Oh, finally. She's like a lot of affection. <laughs> Me. That's it. <laughs> oh, um, so. Yeah, what's, what's happening here? I was going to talk to Beethoven. Sure. Can you, do you have any magic class or like any type of thing that you could conjure up? I don't really trust myself right now, if I'm being honest, because I'm in my own fucking body. I don't have any things that can prove into existence. Do you know of anything that I can do to help time myself up at least at night time? Have you tried rope? I was gonna say, some good old bondage would work. I have, um. I think Ham has a, a shackle. Is it that home? I have rope. rope. I have. Ham, do you have any shackles? Ham is partying. Oh, he's skipping you. Yeah. I've got 50 feet of rope. We can get you all knotted up and suspended in the air and just floating around if you wish. Maybe not that, but. Uh, do you want rope? <laughs> How safe do you want to be? Enough to not do anything stupid. That's suspended in the air, it is. Chess. Sure. Okay. I don't know if my answer is going to have rope to yours. Alright, thank you. 50 feet. I think that a few of us. Put the rope all burn. On him. On everyone. Well, technically, rope did. The only thing left would be the the shackles that Aaron has. Well, never mind. We'll get you moving. We'll get you tied up. We'll get you tied up. <laughs> I'm sure there's something around here too. We'll figure it out. I still think we should suspend you but too, so. Do a slight hand check. Um, while this is kind of happening, uh, you do see Ham uh, at this point in time. What did you guys roll? Uh, 18. 15. 15. Um, so it seems like they're holding their own, but they're getting pretty shwasty. Um Ham still is cloaked. Serzok is still cloaked. But they seem to be having a grand time wrapping their arms around each other, holding each other up a little bit. But it seems like the world is slightly spinning, but they're holding their ground, where some of the dwarves are head first down onto the table. Doing one of those dances where they hold on. No, it's like, it's like, a, it's like this. <laughs> <laughs> You're holding his leg. Uh, what you? Nine or uh, twelve? That's twelve. So you try 
go up to one of the dwarves that is like a little <laughs> inebriated. Well, I mean, like, aren't most of them face planted in the ground? Some of them aren't are. they all like drunk too? Some of them are. Uh, you ended up going towards instead of around where Torrent is with the bars, you decided to go further away. And some patrons that were in there, uh, as you're trying to like quickly grab something, um, you're just not on your game right now. Uh, you've been through hell and back. Hell changed me, man. You saw your father again. And as you tried to steal something, um, you end up getting, um, just trying to rip onto a top of as you're going to reach. Uh, the person ends up getting up and kind of, you stumble back as they kind of get up and dust themselves off. And like, oh, sorry, you're the one. Um, be careful. You should be in a bar like this. Is there age restrictions here? This is a small little infant. Oh, did the baby? <laughs> Huh? Do I uh, where you're at, you're actually kind of farther away. Disappointed. I'm going to go back to the table. Okay. Someone got a leash on this thing. <laughs> uh, you see, uh, as um, <laughs> this little defeated looking, uh, the ears are drooping. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> Protect her smile. <laughs> Let's fuck this guy up. <laughs> you see, like, just a, a look of, you're not entirely sure of what, but there's a look of defeat mm -hmm. on Kairos's face as she approaches and looks at the table and just kind of gets up. And, and I'm going ask her at everyone. <laughs> what happened over there? You look I not having fun. I lost my touch. <laughs> In what way? Puts the head down. The, the defeated ears just kind of lay down. No, it's, uh, it's just this flat. No. Just like who hurt you? <laughs> tell us, tell us where this we'll great man is. Yeah. We'll fight him. Um, so you all have the actually, I'm actually going to put a pin in that. Um, Surzok and Ham, kind okay. of like holding each other up a little bit. You hear, Thorn! Get the champion of Avalor, another one. Don't hear you. He's just kind of slowly. <laughs> slowly. He's probably dead. Don't you know? He killed the king. He got bigger. <laughs> I can't believe just how big you've gotten. I remember when you were a wee lad, I told you last time that you were here, or last time when you met. Um, God, you look just like your man. Is this the drunk uncle speech that usually happens around this time? All is drunk uncle speech. <laughs> drunk uncle. Well, how, how do you um, get involved with your little friend over there? The dragon boy is there. Man, that one's tough. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh, no. No. Uh, what do you, I mean, what do you feel? Well, they're Are all you making leeway. They're all banded together, and we just decided to have each other's backs for now. It's good to have a group like that, just like you know my group. And he's kind of pointing out to the the rest of the group, and they're all kind of partying and. Having a great time, and you know, it's your. Well, what's uh? You said you're leaving in a couple of days for the hills. What's stopping you from going in the morning? Hangover. <laughs> 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 it hasn't stopped us before, but Jesus. Like, I'm feeling a little peckish. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm gonna drink myself dead tonight. What do you say? Are you in? I proceed to, to take off my clothes. Oh, it's my drunk! <laughs> I don't take off my clothes. <laughs> I'm going to reiterate, I do not. Every, I did every door. Dick swing. Helicopter dick. So there's a rowdiness that is happening over onto the side. It's a little hard to hear at this point in time. Uh, but this group right here, what do you all know? I'm gonna see if that happened. <laughs> Alright, 
right, so this is yet another day where I've seen a little too much of Ham. <laughs> I'm going to take that as a sign I should retire. So, uh, good night. Bye! Bobo gets up from the table and kind of dusts herself off. Um, as you're making your way upstairs, Torrance said, uh, stops you for a second. Um, can you mold me in front? You had some fun, that's right. I do, but it's not. Okay. You make your way up. Uh, the rest of you. I'm going to start playing. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um, you're just driving me around. So, you hear, um, in the corner, just this, um, kind of this elegant tune kind of begins to play. Um, of cats that she's setting up or sitting at one of the bar stools, turned around, looking at the chaos that is happening. And the, the room kind of begins to go quiet as a familiar tune to Aiden begins um, making its way. Um, cat, which ballad are you playing? Ballad. 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 And we can't quite Oh, do I have it. to name it? I would like you to name what that would Because you can't play it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Come on. Yeah. 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 The morning it's sun. A, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's the ballad of the morning sun. The ballad of the morning sun? Okay. Cat kind of begins this ballad, and Torrance is there behind her, just kind of leaning up on the bar stool. Uh, Providing gentle wind into the hair. <laughs> yeah, it's just bringing the acoustics. It's slight bit of echoing. The song is, is, is beautiful. Um, nor this is the first time that it, uh, singing isn't a very a customary thing mm -hmm. from where you're from. It's more of a chant. So you just hear <laughs> some other flat on the table. But uh, music is, is very, like the, the ritualistic drums you're very accustomed to. Um, some like something that's similar is similar to what Cat's playing. It, it brings you back a little bit to something that your mother had used to play to make you fall asleep at night. Um, Bjorn, I want you to go ahead and roll a history check. I did, and I actually got a nat twenty. You got a nat twenty. Well, I was gonna say with disadvantage. Oh, so nineteen. So oh, with oh with a disadvantage. Yes. Oh, oh fuck. Roll the nat twenty. Uh, I got a twelve. Uh, as this is kind of happening, you feel warm inside, um, but it doesn't seem to evoke any kind of memory. Damn. However, um, Kat, I want you to roll a perception roll. Perception roll? Seventeen plus one perception, so plus three, I believe. Okay. Um, you do, you're trying, you're doing this on purpose, and you have your eyes locked on that, um, mm -hmm. and you, even though it doesn't seem like Bjorn will notice this, but, um, Kat, you do notice this, that his eyes are tear. And with that, we'll take a break. <laughs> So Carl ended up retiring. Opal retired. I um, no, you, you retired. The oh no, I'm sorry. Yeah, Opal had retired. Um, <coughs> no, the two were partying. Uh, Kat, you had played that. You had noticed yeah. that. But he's crying. Apparently, I rolled. He's crying in the club. Being crying in the club. Well, a history check. No, but call it AK. Call it AK. So Kat, did you notice this? Um, let's see here. Kairos, are you doing anything? Um, I should probably go to bed. Can't steal shit today. Disappoint. Disappoint. I just like really like it's like slow mo. Just walk up the stairs like slowly, step by step, head down, just go upstairs. You can tell. I mean, the stairs are pretty high, so she kind of just like crawling up the stairs. Angrily hops up. Walk of shame up the stairs. Oh, 
you come to a um, you find an open one and, and lock the door behind you and it's a very small room, um, big I guess for you. <laughs> but um, you do take a look outside and you see just the uh, twin moons and it kind of always seems very odd since you've been in Illidan. Just the fact that there are two moons where where you come from there's a sun. Um, after I'm done playing, I'm gonna hop off the bar and turn over to the like, I'm gonna need a shot. How strong? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have something that will make you breathe fire after you drink it? Not in the wooden area like this, I don't think. But I do have that, yes, just ill advised. If there's a proof, make sure there are three digits. <laughs> That's not even alcohol. <laughs> That's gasoline at that point. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> gasoline, they have the elegant version of tequila. That's like quitty left. <laughs> quitty left. No? Is that like the purest form of gas? Or gas? That gasoline? means when you drink the most of it. So, uh, he ends up reaching back and bringing out this little container. It looks kind of like a potion bottle. He pops it open and gives you a, a shot. And the, the shot itself is green, but it is bubbling. And he hands it to you. I might also get the chaser. <laughs> we could already have one ready. <laughs> and it just kind of slides you over a the equivalent of what would you want to say? Oh, okay. So you seem to Fire, fire. <laughs> I'm going to turn back around so that so that the people um, sitting in the corner can see me. I want to make it obvious that I'm a mess. <laughs> <laughs> Are you saying the people is in like the group? Or? Yeah, the group. Or I'm gonna I'm gonna yell to the dwarves. I'm like, who wants to see me drink this? Yeah! Oh, cheering. Okay! <laughs> <laughs> right. You throw so back the shot. Makes you roll. So so what you happens throw. is you just feel like this, just this <laughs> burning that kind of just goes right down your throat. Like fire down. And it feels like all of a sudden, it, like your stomach is, like has a little bit of like a fire pit on the inside of it. It's very warm, it's very hot. And then as you're kind of just getting ready to take a drink of your pina colada, there's literal, like, a little bit of fire kind of coming out of your mouth. And you chase I it I try down. to make a ring out of the fire real quick. <laughs> <laughs> and then you take a drink of your pina colada, and it, it smooths it, but there's still a lot of heat in your stomach. But your mouth seems to have, uh, <laughs> and then crushed it. Or a performance check. Nat 20 plus 5. Shit. The dwarves are looking in awe and in suspense, waiting for something chaotic to happen. The cat, you hold your own, and you just hear, like, ah! I do a <laughs> They're just happy, naked, and definitely having a And a little bit of poop. <laughs> <laughs> and you make your way back towards me. I'm, and, I, and I am looking directly, so I'm like, <laughs> so, like, literally, cat, he might have brush up and drink while it's you. While it's you. While the home it's you. Hello, everybody. How was the conversation? We were kind of just all watching you. <laughs> oh, did you oh. have fun? Oh, yeah, no. It's uh, such a blast, such a blast. You know, whenever you do a sad song, you gotta do something exciting to bring the party back together. Yeah. So what were y'all talking about here? And you see uh, both Ham and one of the dwarves kind of holding on to each other. I'm not sure where Surzak is. Um, <laughs> I went back. <laughs> but they're both naked, and they come up, one comes up to you, for your beautiful turn! And he <laughs> throws his whole purse at you. <laughs> <laughs> I, thought I, wiped, I thought I wiped them clean already. Yeah, one of them only had I have a purse. <laughs> you have the purse. And, like, they kind of are swaying back. 
You want to join your group? Are you still in it? Are you having fun with your uncle? We're bringing well, it's not his uncle, but uh, <laughs> he knows of his uncle. We're bringing the drink in here. Get the guys to do shots. <laughs> not the green stuff. <laughs> one more. <laughs> okay, one more. You can't stop on one. It's bad luck. Okay. So a group of dwarves are coming over to the table. They're rowdy. Half of them are naked. <laughs> um, and you each have a I'm shot gone. in front of you. Uh, Surzak Summer. I'm gone. <laughs> <laughs> Surzak, I need you to roll it. <laughs> um, you all have this I don't know. <laughs> very toxic looking shot in front of you. The key is to slam down whatever is next to you after doing it. You hear the drink, 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 Are you ready? You are? Who's all at the stable? Adios, motherfuckers. <laughs> I was a 16. A 16? What are we supposed to roll? Alright, actually, you know what? I'll have you all roll. A constitution saving throw. Oh, boy. So, yeah, why not? Wait, is that, is that what I did rolling? No, 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 no that's a private. <laughs> am I rolling it again? Uh, not for you, actually. Oh, my. And I'll go from Caro over. Um, Caro, you're first. What'd you get? He used my inspiration, but my highest goal was an 11. <laughs> Wait! He used the inspiration, okay. Um, Wait, would I be able to roll performance to pretend? Is that an option? Uh, it would have been. But you, uh, <laughs> you already <laughs> rolled. Uh, Bjorn, so, uh, everyone I got a, a, uh, I got a, so 14 plus 8, so um, 24. Okay. I can't wait to do this. Five. Oh, no. no. I rolled a nap um, one, right? 26. 26. Okay. I'm going to die and I killed me. It would have killed you. I'm going to die, so. Oh, yeah, the shot glass would be like the whole The whole, right. whole drink. Yeah. So as this shot goes on, you feel this like fire ignite through your throat and drop down to your stomach. Uh, cat, um, you and me <laughs> start feeling that Bjorn like seems fine. Um, Carl, you're, you're a little queasy after that one. Uh, Ham, would you? Can I chase 26? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you can chase it, of course. Um, you're feeling a little ill. Um, Kat, you feel like you need to retire for the night. Carl, um, you're with that chase. You, you didn't drink much so far, but Kat already had two. Yeah. Um, but you're still a little queasy, but you're still in it. Um, Bjorn, you're fine. And Ham, you're fine. Uh, Aiden does get up. He didn't have the drink. Yeah. He, he ends up retiring for the night. Um, some of the dwarves just instantly fall backwards. <laughs> can I, can I, do you mind if I grab your handcuffs? <laughs> He's wasting. Give it to him. What are you doing tonight? What are you two doing tonight? I'm back. I'm back to like everything. Um, yeah. Because I'm like, when I get into the room, I'm like, extremely drunk. I get back to old town. Like, oh my god! No. Hey. It's not what you think, right? Hey. We're just gonna buckle him up while we're all blind. They have a closet too. And it's a physical closet that they go into. I'm gonna, I don't, I'm gonna hand over the manacles and then my, my bottle of oil. Alright. Do I take the bottle too? You know exactly what that's for. <laughs> Dwarven <laughs> oil? Sorry, <laughs> <laughs> um, right, right, you take that and put it into your inventory. Um, Yari, what do I do? Can you, can you, sorry, Yari can't kill me in my <laughs> She always talks like this. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Bjorn, your time. I am going to carry Cat and then go into the center. As we're, as we're walking up to the inventory. Yeah. You know, you know, you look like. I somehow made this happen. You look like my ex lover. Oh, oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. I don't want to put you in a position. Why are you going to do that? Why are you going to do that? Sometimes it makes me very. I'm going to carry a cat. Start walking. Sometimes it makes me very sad. No, no, no. 
<laughs> so you end up making your way up Thank the stairs. You. We're gonna put a pin in that. Thank you. Um, it's a it's a so long ago, <laughs> like Waffle House Lama. <laughs> Waffle House Lama <laughs> Dory did that. And you see, in the meantime, um, you see Torrance just actually creating these like little torrents underneath yeah. the, um, some of the dwarves, and they're actually kind of being floated upstairs. Um, Kyle, are you doing anything? What is my state of mind? Your state of mind is you're feeling pretty good. (laughs) (laughs) I only have the one, so I'm good. You have the one you had to slam down a glass of wine upstairs, but I would say you're moderately buzzed. I would say you're not intoxicated yet. Hell yeah! Kyle's a heavyweight champ. Heavyweight champ. Did he do the job? He did. How did he react? He got a 20. That's not a job, right? Wouldn't it not action? I swear I'm not drunk. He likes that role for fun. (laughs) He's just looking at the group list. (laughs) He's in the closet. He's in the closet. He's in the closet. Who's left at the table? Uh, it's Pam and you and Major. Um, I mean, the other dwarf right is is out and he's being whisked away uh, by Torn. So it's just the three and, and Sirzak is. Then we go back to our room. I'm gonna say if you wanted to go to the bed, yes. Yes. All right. Mm-hmm. Why were we trying to do? Not everybody. Oh, holy man! Remember that. <laughs> Doesn't mean the whole like oil. oil. <laughs> <laughs> so at least you can whack off. And say, hey, uh, <laughs> he's, he's, a tuggy. he's pretty holy. I mean, spent a lot of years with all of this and not even a move. Are you one of those lizards? I'm starting to think he's gay. Cat's like, Well, that opal is gone, and so it's <laughs> Uh, so it is, uh, Carl, you're with him at the moment. Both of you are feeling a little, you know, I would say buzzed. Uh, and how you've been rolling, I'd say you feel buzzed. Nice. <laughs> Not even drunk. All right. One more, and we do one of those rides up to the room. The wind. <laughs> the wind ride. I'm just going to have it. All right. Have at it. Mm-hmm. Have, have so much fun today. Right. Me too. Do you want another? Do you want too. another? Drink, really. The three of you. I mean, I. I mean, Beethoven's yeah. like, yeah, you. Oh, I'll give it to him. him. All right. And then, uh, so, you both have a drink, Beethoven and you. I want to see. I need you to roll a constitution saving With disadvantage. Just kidding. No, no, you're just kidding. No, it's not a Come on, man. <laughs> How? 22. 22. Oh. I have a plus 7 in my constitution. <laughs> <laughs> um, so much. Much. You're rocking. So Beethoven got a, a natural 20. <laughs> so you both take a drink. You just kind of look up. You feel that fire in your stomach. And at that moment, they knew they were best friends. <laughs> it's like, oh. Whew, that was at least... As hot as the first circle of hell. How are you, sir? I'm good for the night. Torrent, give me one of those floaty things. Get me up there. <laughs> <laughs> and Torrent turns to you and, um, Beethoven was it? Would you also like a ride? Um, Beethoven's like, no, I'll float myself. <laughs> <laughs> and he gets up and he's floating and I feel like he just kind of goes back. But <laughs> <laughs> Torrent has to roll like a string chair, right? A string chair. <laughs> or a <laughs> chair. Or, okay. Um, so, why not? We'll do that's, a big, uh, that's a big boy. So you end up just... going backwards and you <laughs> couldn't quite get a, a, a thrust <laughs> right behind you, so you go back and wham! <laughs> pat your, your head on the back and you just feel this pain uh, in your vision go a little bit. But as it's out, you kind of get floated up and begin floating. Does he hit his head every arrow? <laughs> 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 he got a good control do, do. after that. But he ended up flying up and uh, Beethoven kind of gets he didn't up. roll high. You see him kind of dust himself off. And... The one time he doesn't roll high. <laughs> when we fight a monster. Not 20. 
Trying to lift up him to go up the stairs. <laughs> Fails. <laughs> um, Big Chubby gets up and dusts himself off and takes in a just big breath. <sighs> well, it's good to be out of that local closet. Just having a good time. <laughs> 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 to the physical closet. <laughs> I can't believe you called that little thing. There was a small physical closet you were confined in. Look at her. <laughs> I mean, she's uh, young, she's naive. Uh, and I'm the devil. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite flavor. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna, Jesus, thank you. Sorry. I'm like, I'll be up in a minute. I'll need you there. I don't want to stop keeping me. I'm sure. Oh. 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 More drinks! No. But I'm just like, can I just get a glass of water for my face? Should I make it two? Or just one? Just one. Mm. He gets out another two. Ice. Oh, ice. Ice. Brings out ice and pours it for you and hands it over to you. Good night, guys. Before I go, um, who exactly is Electra? You were asking me about her yesterday. I knew not of what she was at the moment when I asked. When I asked. However, um, my employer knows exactly what that is. And we'll be having a conversation tomorrow when you come. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, thank you. Well, you know, I'm going to give him ten gold pieces. I'm going to put ten gold pieces on the table. Chips. Thank you, Father. My only pay. I pay him for other things. <laughs> I'm gonna just a little sense even be like, oh. I was oh, just. Uh, I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna slide in five more. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Thank you. Oh wait, go get yourself something nice. You look so hot or whatever. Or whatever. Cheers. Thank you. I'm going to go up to the room. Okay. Uh, back to this situation. Um, situation. Yarn, you're coming up. Cat um, <laughs> kind of points you in the direction of where her room is. Um, I'm just kidding. Mm-hmm. You open up the door. Um, what are you doing? I'm going to lay her on her side where her head is so she can actually not vomit and she'll go in and then she'll choke on her vomit and die. Uh, I, I actually managed to grab like a glass of water from the table before going out, so I just place it on. Yoi! Okay. Yoi! I'm gonna go upstairs. Go upstairs. Uh, as you close the door, you see a completely incapacitated ham floating up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm gonna give him a high five. I'm, I'm naked. I was, that was I'm just gonna slap his hand. Slap his hand. Why is my hand so much tap? Slap his dick. <laughs> slap his butt and say, good game. Pull it right. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Pull it right. What? Wait, roll strength. See if you leave handprints. And you make your way uh, up to your room. Um, Long rest. And yeah, let's just go ahead and actually end the night. Uh, a long rest for everyone. Uh, which I think everyone might still be okay. Right. Wow. Everyone gets a long rest. What happened during the long rest? Yeah, being yourself. There are details that weren't spoken. What happened during the long rest? I threw it out. <laughs> <laughs> I threw it out. I threw it out. I wake up with no hangover and I'm like, ah. the moment you are left, she is. I think it's her. That whole room. I was fine. I was fine. I think I only had one glass of wine. Yeah, I was fine too. I rolled a high. My makeup is like. Just. Um, so weird. Carl, did you want to have anything in there? No. That no. last one. No. <laughs> Um, we'll just leave it to our imagination. We take a long rest. Yeah, a long rest. All right, let's go to the mountains. So you end up waking up, um, and making your way and getting 
dressed and ready and ready ready for to come to shackles. Um, oh, that's fine. My clothes. He's happy. Yeah. <laughs> no, Your clothes just, are actually neatly folded. Nice. Next. To me. Nice. Uh, nice. <laughs> now for those that are, are gone, um, Carl, you wake up and you see um, Beethoven just kind of right next to you, um, kind of holding like you on his chest. Um, Bjorn, you wake up in handcuffs <laughs> and realizing you didn't get the key from Pam. Yeah. <laughs> I'm still in my, my common clothes, so. Yeah, uh, but you are currently cut. Cat, um, you have a massive hangover, just throbbing that's happening. Um, but you managed to get yourself up, splash some water on your face. Kairos, um, you wake up feeling like it's a new day. You feel like you were off, you went through hell, you came back. This was like an adventure you had never planned for. This was quite a first day with this group. And however, first and party feels like there could be money getting things down with this group. Sir Doc, you wake up completely fine. Yes. Um, <coughs> you should have use that bar. Feeling refreshed, you do feel have a, a pretty big headache, but it's not from any drinking. It's <laughs> just from the greetings, the cheers, and everything that had happened. The long amount of headless that you took. I'm like, shh. Or the review. Feeling. <laughs> Treated forehead oils with a lot of people. And Opal, uh, you wake up, and for some reason you notice that that little shell that you've been creating is laying on the ground. Yeah. Take it up. <laughs> Examine it? Yeah. Um, go ahead and roll it for a second. Um, on the inside of the shell, um, it's kind of like a, you know how, actually, I'd say almost opalescent, uh, you know how the inside of the shell kind of has that shimmer, like a opal. Um, when you pick it up and lift it up, you see, um, a flash of, not your reflection, but you see your mother's reflection. And... As you're staring at this, you're realizing that you had kind of quickly kind of transformed into your mom. And kind of shake it off. <laughs> so when I, when I finished back, I, 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 I attached a string to it, right? You did. Okay. And it was off your neck. And it went on the ground. Check the mirror real quick. Check the mirror, and you kind of you change your your facial structure back to how your true nature. I'm just gonna head downstairs. Head downstairs. Okay. Uh, as you make your way downstairs, um, you hear like this clampering of, of doors. You hear this. You smell this like just the scent of just roasting meat. Um, Bjorn, as you make your way down, Ham is already sticking his head out the door, and you see the dwarfs just slow rotisserieing like like this big steak of uh, some meat. You're not entirely sure, but it smells delicious after the yes. night beforehand. But they're chattering and they're cooking. Um, one of them reaches up. You know, they don't serve proper food here. And they're cooking yourself, and you see them just kind of talking amongst themselves. Um, Torrent uh, notices both Cat and Opal on their way down, quickly stops them. Um, Opal, that gift that I lent you and um, Cat for Electra. Yeah, Electra. <laughs> I need a word. You're just like looking at her. Um, he ends up taking out uh, 
juice pieces of paper and presents them to you. And each of them have runes on the pieces of paper and with a, what looks like a bloody fingerprint on each of them. Um, oh, for phone. Make your way all the way up to the right, uh, the top of the tower. And down below, uh, you do see a sigil on the ground. When you, these, I'm giving you access because of my employer, Mithril, knows this and that job. Um, giving you access to my teleport um, holes. Once you grown accustomed to using the teleport skin, um, you'll be able to return here in a minute, as well as in those two pieces of paper that you see, you see Siren's Bell and you see Monstrum on there, sketched. Fast travel! We fast, want fast travel! Fast we travel. can travel by map! <laughs> so, uh, of course, this means a little bit of the cuts is done, and kind of just pinches it, and once it, a droplet of blood hits the sigil down below, like where you're standing above, you see it ignite to this kind of a bluish aura. Um, go ahead and hand you a, a nice, make the contract real quick so you can do the jump in. Do you read the fine print? <laughs> Uh, Jeffrey goes down, and all of a sudden you feel this uh, bit of knowledge actually come across you. And this, you appear almost like you have an out of body experience that is floating around this um, this lighthouse, this mini tower. Um, you then proceed to put your fingerprint on both of the other scrolls, and Horn hands you another one that says, Lighthouse. Or the first light. First light. Um, and the sheets of paper end up glowing um, once that contract is made and that blood pact is sealed. You'll be able to travel across any of these at any point in time once you learn that it might be an ability or a pattern. I didn't even check your spell list. But now, um, you really now you have the access to these three places. Now, unfortunately, to make the other packs, you would have to end up going to the capital or the other points of interest. Um, this is a gift from the Thank you. Yeah. Um, is it just me that I can transport? No, you'll be able to transport your whole group. There's a five second window, so bear that in mind. No one will lost their. Probably one one second. <laughs> one armed cat. <laughs> 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 it's like six in the middle? Or six smaller creatures? Or? Technically six, but I'm going to make it allow that everyone could grow. Oh, okay. Okay. So then, yeah, so I'm assuming that we all have to be pretty pretty tight, or like touching each other. So, and then we can close. Do you remind me that you have to do what you have on your table? Onto the ground. And after you make the final run, everyone will have to jump in. And it starts quick, the timer starts clicking as soon as you go across the ground. Um, thank you for the time. Oh, I really appreciate this. And it turns out it's half. This is a left shot. No, no. No, for now. Mithril wanted me to tell you. <laughs> Mithril wanted me to tell you that he'll be waiting at the port town of Mordor. Port town of Mordor, got it. He would like to meet your acquaintance in the next three weeks. Is that Port Melbourne? It is. We have to go there anyway. And then we have to travel, we have to travel through the mountains. Um, are you good? I'm sorry, is my, is my story stepping on you right now? No, no, he just had two brain cells and decided to combine both of them. <laughs> combine both of them or subtract one of them? Well, it was kind of like the one was a negative modifier. <laughs> well, it seems as though Port Delta is 
our next spot. Um, well, you're taking a look. You whip out your map. Yeah. You should know that we're here at the first lighthouse today. The Dragon Mountains are here, and the fort is here. Uh, it's not a travel through the mountains, but it would be a side journey. So we do the Dragon Mountains first for Ham, and then we can continue the lighthouse path to Fort Delta. I'm saying all of this all. Yeah, yeah. Y'all. Yeah. Y'all. Yes, yes Gorge. Well, we have, we have business in the Dragon Mountains. <coughs> uh, mm-hmm. Ham has a lead on his family, and don't You'll find it gorgeous. Um, dig deep. This is me. The fucking imp. Dimitri. Dimitri. Okay. Uh, Dimitri is also waiting there for us. Yes. But thanks to Torrent's gift, we have a fast exit. Should we? That'll be a very important stop. For you as a listener? For everyone in this nation. <laughs> um, and I also learned that, um, is it going to drive me around this for Kairos? Uh, yeah, you do know that um, Kairos is making their way that way. Uh, I also learned last night that our newest companion has business in the Dragon Mountains as well. Yes, yes, I think she was looking for an artist tool. She's like a chisel of some chisel. kind. It's like it's like a hammer, a screwdriver, but it's flat and wider. Are we all in this? No, no. Uh, okay. Torrent had brought them the bolt. Yeah. It's not always that. Or about the other groups too. <laughs> <laughs> No, I mean, they're like little skewers. <laughs> um, Sir Zox seems to be just kind of uh, adjusting himself, looking outside, still looking at the darkness, because there's a, always darkness here. Um, but feeling a slight relief of uh, there being light uh, open. Um, how does the food smell? The food smells <laughs> delicious. Yeah. Like, is it like Aiden level of cooking delicious? I would say that. Because Aiden created like a three course breakfast for us that one. So he he worked it, dwarf breakfast is different. Yeah, different. It, I guess. It's a little bit of, um, <laughs> yeah, it's a little bit of, what is the, the hair of the dog, so to speak. You can smell like beer that had been, like as if the, the meat has been sitting in beer for a really long time. Lightly seasoned, um, but it, it, the aroma is, is very very, what one would crave after a night. Actually, we just think it smells better than it smells. Oh, whatever, I'll try it. Okay. <laughs> I need it. <laughs> 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 I need it. Um, all right. Um, and you, uh, Carl, you're kind of sitting at the, uh, the round table, not really partaking in what's happening outside, but Beethoven comes in with a couple of skewers and hands you one. Uh, you each end up getting. Four temporary health points. It's not an Aiden meal, but the taste is there. It feels like it's curing some of your hangover. Um, but it's edible. It's greasy. So we all up. Yeah, we got you. Um, question for the dwarves. You you just eat the meat, right? There's not nothing to soak it up like bread or gold or like a vegetable. What's a vegetable? Ha <laughs> ha! And they kind of just chuckle and, no, there's no vegetables there. I, I wouldn't eat anything around here. So, do you know what a vitamin is? Do you take like a supplement or is it just meat? 
Yeah, well, beer has, like, there's there's effect. things inside there, yeah. I've heard <laughs> it's, it's it's predominantly it's natural. It's all natural. It's predominantly water, from what I hear. Wheat, locally, wheat. locally harvested wheat. I was thank you, lizard. Barley, <laughs> barley. Things. Our 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 dear friend, our dear friend Cam over here told us about a breakfast tradition. Oh my God. Where food was thrown? Is this a true dwarven tradition? I've known about this for, you know, maybe like a hundred years, and I, I've only seen it happen one time. Is throwing food a dwarven tradition? Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's a big, the actual Absolutely. Oh, oh, wonderful. Like slice and I threw it. <laughs> <laughs> I am totally honored by this, my <laughs> throat. <laughs> Usually it's lame. If we have food to spare, typically, it's a good comedian, but um, we're all pretty fucked up. Uh, so every bit counts, and he takes it off the bed. <laughs> 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 Starts eating it. Um, do you all find yourself kind of gathered up and have your fill, so to speak? Uh, what are you all doing? I don't really know what's the plan right now. Well, we need to move. I'm ready to travel. I think the, I think the next move is going to be Dragon Ball Mountains. Oh, so um, much travel. We got that angry imp after us, right? We got a lot of angry people. One of these, uh, I'm just going to get these to work. You're cut so, off. There's not really an imp anymore, though. We saw him change before. Yeah, he's like that angel being. Like a thing. celestial. That is the biggest makeover I have ever seen. If I know dwarves, they know that how to fight. Yeah. They love to fight. Let's invite them along. They're heading there anyways in a couple of days, so you can get them to go early. Why not? It would be fun to travel with a big group. Well, you have the most cool of them, so... I guess. Maybe Sazak has a mission support. Seems like y'all were... Let's, let me, um, let, 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 let me provide that. some inspiration. Ding, 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 Okay. On hand? Okay. Guided. Okay. So a D6 and a D4. A D6 and a D4. You can add it onto your rolls. As a fellow dwarf, you know, we hate other small creatures. Oh. Yeah, halflings and. Things whatever. that are smaller than us. Whatever. Yeah. Running around is. I don't think I hate that one. It's cute. It's just weird. It's, it's weird. <laughs> it's weird. It's weird. That is weird. Well, I like it. He's a, he's a feisty one, so he might not be asking to get in. 
there are. Sounds like about an unwelcomed one in our home. Yeah. Let's make our way. We got about a three day travel to the next lighthouse. Let's go ahead and make our way and then head over to the ground the mountain. Let's go. All right. Let's do it. They kind of saddle up, they get all their things. Um, do they have little pigs they ride on? Little, war have little, little, war hogs. little warthogs. <laughs> <laughs> no, they don't have anything like that. Uh, They're all on foot. They actually, boars, uh, you recollect, uh, sirs, I don't really prefer any creature of travel. They'd rather be on their own feet. They're uncomfortable, they're not very. They don't know how to ride creatures. There predominantly isn't something strong enough to hold the heft of a dwarf in this how small they are. Have we left the lighthouse yet? Uh, you're all gathering your things? Is there something that you want to do? Can I go yeah. up to Torrent mm -hmm. and slide him a little come up over the over the <laughs> slide him a coin or a gold piece? It's cheese. More cheese. You go ahead and roll a persuasion. That's what I'm thinking. Do yes. I have any gold? Do you have any gold? You don't. No. Oh my god! Does he have clothes? He has the armor on his back. But that's, the that's it. He has the clothing on his back. The cuffs. The cuff, yeah, he's still Wait, is he still cuffed? He's still cuffed. Oh shit. Uh, is he persuasion? Persuasion. Oh, okay. Plus, I'll look first 20 after. 16. Drop the keys. 16. Um, like, Torrance ends up smiling, and he actually already has. Three ration supplies of cheese and meats, cured uh, salted meats, ready for you. Because you had a little bad luck last night. Don't let that get you down. But think twice on who you really are. Should we try that? I smile at him and then go back to the Okay, you go back to the I give him a little nod. Okay. Um, so, Bjorn, you were first with your handcuffs, you said? Well, oh, he still needs to be there. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna take the keys and walk to Cam. Like, hey, uh, you can have fun with these. Oh, thank you, thank you, Cam. <laughs> See, it always helps to say good morning to anybody. Those are for them. Good morning. Um, hey, hey, you know, I wanted to apologize for last night. I know, I, I know, it might have been weird for you. Well, now I kind of look like this a little, so can't really do my expression. You get one more thing. Uh, yeah, just do, 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 just the same. <laughs> <laughs> just like, no, it's, it's just nostalgic for me, you know? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> he had the oil, he should have probably done it. But that was, that was oh, shit. shit. You gotta think outside the box. <laughs> hey. um, I'm very sorry. Um, is there any way I should make it up to you? Yes. Can you lock it? <laughs> yeah, 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 sure, just as that, but any other. <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh. Thank you. Oh, oh no, I'll keep the key for this. I'll keep the key for myself. Take just the key. But I need those to be able to. If you're worried about losing yourself, <laughs> I wasn't asking. Oh, <laughs> Thank you. Probably like at seven thirty. Step. Okay. Have a I have a seat there. Oh. All right. So that locks up. Carlo, uh, you approach Torn. Thank you again for the hospitality for it. I'm assuming we'll see you down the road. Um, more than likely we'll be meeting each other at both side. So very soon. Uh, well, three weeks time. So yeah. I'm gonna motion, like, look over my shoulder, like, kind of like motion a bit, like, get his attention over at Beethoven, and be like, wine recommendation, a bottle for the road, if you will. Oh, of course. Uh, you don't seem to really like. So, I have this beautiful bottle. Uh, it's made from the, there's 
Right near Wahatsi. Um, right near, the, actually, to the northern portion of the continent. This is a rare fossil. Um, and it's actually the only fossil that has been found. There's volcanoes out there, and minerals that are made from roots are very special. I think that you would enjoy this, but I would say for a brief I'm going to hand you a bottle. Uh, the bottle is. Um, oh, I see the. Oh, ah. Oh, I forgot. <laughs> I have another map for the second portion. Um, Expansion. Expansion. For now, write down in your. I'll let you know later, but write down uh, in your inventory a fancy one, and then I'll, I'll get you the name for that. <laughs> fancy one. Fancy one. Bang. I have written down. Fancy volcano one. I just typed it. I'm sorry. It's a volcano, <laughs> but it has a puta. Yeah. Um, I would say it for a, an occasion. And think of it as a gift from my employer. I'll give him a little. Like, thank you so much, Tor. You're welcome. And. and oh, I'm going to turn around and kind of like see if I can catch Beethoven's eye. Mm -hmm. And just be like, like, bottom like. And then put it in my bag. And it kind of gives you a look up and down. And it's fancy wine. Um, Torrent grabs Opal before they leave and. Lights you over the top. Yes, Torrent. Um, Opal. Um, Just between us, you know of uh, um, I've felt something last night. I feel like you need to pick up on this, but there was something about uh, that felt like a searing eye, like someone was scrying. This is this is my cousin's magic. Um, I mean, each sister is different, cousin cousin, but the, the, the foundation of it is there. I need you to, if you can. She won't have her magic. The traces should still exist. I don't know who, but s but one of my sisters exists in the old building, and I need you to find her before he does. Cuffs you again and kind of whisks a little bit of his bag. Thank you. Yeah. Um, if you. If you 
you are able to find it for you somewhere. I will try. Um, there's a there's a contact that I have that exists in Portugal. Oh. I'll send word to I'll send word to him to seek you out once you arrive. I'm telling you now that I'm going to send that, but for this session. Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so that way I can hear back at some point. <laughs> um, Alright, do you all gather yourself? <laughs> what? You have a merry band of dwarves. Yeah. Um, Pam, I want you to write down. I have a uh, Doran. Okay. Farin. Okay. June. Coat. 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 And Jar. 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 Which one am I writing? Jar. Jar. <laughs> you see Jar just kind of nestling like, all right, I bet you'd be a feather. Let's go out. Oh, absolutely. Uh, what's your name again? Jar. Jar, nice to meet you. Why do they call you Jar? <sighs> can, is it because you can open them really easily? No. Took and takes off his hat and acts to the head, and there is a you can see an incision mark that ends up going all the way down. <laughs> um, and it's you know, sewn together. I started calling it a jar. Oh, because your head is a jar. <laughs> That's it. Come on, like don't we just go. Don't worry, I'll put a little cushion on there so that it's I'd rather okay. you not. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> <rather you're> <laughs> <Okay. laughs> I'll, I'll get on his. With ease, he actually just kind of picks it up and. You know, you know. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, we, make, we could on. put on a trench coat and have a really fun time getting the movies. <laughs> <laughs> um, do you all gather yourselves? Um, the girls kind of gather their supplies, they, they get everything ready, uh, put out the fire, and uh, begin traversing. Um, you make it up to up to where the lighthouse light ends, and you see to your right uh, that scorched earth that just seems perpetually just burnt, and there's just like a weird radiantness that kind of is there, but it, you notice that. Can I just walk up to it and just touch it? <laughs> just get sucked by the <laughs> <God damn it. laughs> So, uh, you walk up and touch it, um, just, um, 
I want you to roll a perception. I'm scared. Constitution save. <laughs> Dexterity save. Touch it. Oh, no. Um, you do hear in your head very briefly. And I hope you're enjoying your time. Flash. Come back when you're ready. That's it. I just want to be able to keep that to myself. <laughs> so everyone does notice that and uh, just notices, you know, me touching it and. You can kind of reflect like, that it's I just that. Like this when I do it. Wait a minute. Did it hurt? No. Why? I'm in the back of the room. Why? Uh, but then take, you can take it as like him reminiscing or what happened. Yeah. Um, and you all make your way. Uh, I need two lookouts. Oh, is it night? It's actually night, and you are in the other room. There's two with dark vision. Yeah, I don't see shit. Yeah, so dark I can't. Me, I can see a hundred and twenty feet. I can see sixty. So Carl and uh, Bjorn, you guys are up front. Um, the rest of the group is kind of in the middle. Um, Cat is at the very back. Yeah. But there's Why? the dwarves behind that. Um, yeah. as you're being carried. <laughs> Um, I need both Carl and Norm to roll a perception. Why is the million dollars better than my vision? You said perception? Perception. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> I saw that. It's a two. It's a two. Bad. Seven and a two. <laughs> it should have been a 13. That right? looked like a 13. Can I use inspiration? Yeah. You can use your inspiration. Yeah, if you want to. Make sure you remove. Car already used their inspiration last night. <laughs> Make sure you eliminate that off. Look, that's, that's two points. I got a fifteen. Fifteen. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, okay. Make sure you use your inspiration. That's what they're for. Um, so, Carl, you're kind of looking out ahead, and Bjorn as well. You are making your way down. So, as you're making your steps past, like where the lighthouse is. Um, you start seeing just the, almost as if you take those first few steps and just darkness and Uh You do see, for a, from a visual standpoint, just a whole bunch of those biomassive <coughs> mushrooms. It seems some creatures are also growing in some way, shape, or form. It's quite a, a sight for the eyes. Everything almost has a, like a, uh, like, what is it called? A light. Close it. Close it. Thank you. <laughs> 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 like, that doesn't have a stigmatism. I can't call. But everything kind of has that, that light. So you know it's, it's very dark in most areas. Um, in other areas, it is just kind of popped with color. Am I able to see that? Because my dark vision has shades of gray. You can't. Yes. Can. Yeah, it's very noticeable. Um, you make your way down, but as you kind of proceed forward, uh, you see these these cracks in the earth, and it just it looks like the the earth itself is is very much decaying where you're at, and things that grow from decay are what are present. Um, Bjorn, you do notice kind of off off into the distance. Um, just these hills kind of leading up, but you can't see the next lighthouse. And by your ju uh, judgment from one of the dwarves, I mentioned that you have a previous trial. Um, during your watch, um, you do see above you, through that light, um, a, once again, one of the giant rocks, giant birds, flying in the air, 
heading towards. Can't really see up the hill, but heading north northwest. Uh, you have a moment to yourself in the car. So are we like are we? You're traveling. We are walking as well. Correct. Yeah, walking and talking. So, uh, what about the devil? Devils. How did you meet him? A long, long time ago in a really precarious situation. A long time. Been bound together ever since? You know the lady Walker. I do. And so do you? Yes, I do. I know what happened to her, too. I don't know quite what happened to her, but I was there right after she was killed. Who the fuck was the captain? Not at the captain, it was on the other. No. It was in the. It was in the other. The other common, Exilia. Nothing. Um, you took a boat on your way to find her. Uh, I see. Well, it wasn't. She wasn't really killed in the normal way. Did you tell? I'm not going to share any of my stuff until I open up. You've been dodging the question, these questions all these times. I never did. Because you had to. Had to? No. I very much could have left you there to rob the nine hells, but I went out of my way. And I haven't even heard of so much as a thank you yet. I thanked Rachel. You didn't do it just so well. Anyways. So you knew Margaret from the monster, right? So you were there at the monster. The orphanage, yes. Or sorry, yeah, they call it the orphanage now. It was the monastery back in the day. At least from what we saw for Francis. Memories. The visions. That's correct. Before she was uh, scoundering around with Eris of all people. I don't know really know much about her. Eris. Neither do I. But she was. She's in trouble. But she mentioned to you once upon a time that Margaret. She was uh, running a human trafficking business for a little bit. So I didn't know that. Hmm. I remember seeing her on a ship towards the city. We were headed there. So I met her that way. Did she say anything? Did she... she didn't mention you and I. She didn't mention this trafficking. It's a shame. Unfortunately, she's back, and uh, I'm going to put her back in the ground. I wonder if that was really her, or if that was a manifest. You saw her. She died. Manifestation, illusion of Eris, maybe a physical being, whatever it is, it's clearly my role in this to put her back in the ground, and nothing's going to stop me from doing that. You want to hear it? Perception for more. Like to be able to see because I can see further than he can. I can see six. I would say just to keep it uh, flowing, the first roll is the roll. Oh. Um, so we can all end up settling in for the night. Uh, about a day's travel has passed. Not a lot of fences. A camp ended up going up. You see the dwarves setting up a camp. Um, Jar is just kind of a little tired, uh, but he. He's holding himself together. <laughs> um, but a big uh, fire is in between you all. Um, we have only a few more minutes left. Um, who would like to do first watch? Someone decides. Yeah. I 
Uh-huh. Oh. Two people? Yep, two people. So Kat and Kairos. Um, everyone is getting comfortable for bed. You do s- still hear in the background just some um, of the talking of the uh, dwarves. They, they don't yeah. seem like they've quite gone to bed just yet. Uh, but you are alone together. Uh, and then before I head off to bed, I'm going to do like a ritual. Um, it's just me like writing the names of the sisters that I believe are still be alive and kind of like a, a, a ritual of prayer, so to speak. Not like holy by any means. No, but you're. But like just hopeful that they still exist on this Yeah. And then I'll do it. Looks like we're all at the campfire. You're at, well, you all have turned in for the bed. The first night watch is Cat and Cowards. I'm going to quickly. Uh, Shackle your. <laughs> I wish I could do it. Well, you can't shackle yourself. Hello? Uh, sleep tight. Watch <laughs> 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 uh, But you do have a moment to yourself. So, how do you feel after being with us for at least a day or three? being chased by something, something unholy. And in my disappearance, um, my cock of an ex-husband, he he, um, decided that it was foul play on Illidan's part. And it is my job now to clean up this mess. Actually, yes, I was going to have both of you do a perception on that. It's okay. Go right over there. Perception. <laughs> Purpose of perception. Ooh, I'm focused. I got blinded by his brights. Uh, I got a six. <laughs> Your brights are on. I got a 15. Oh, 15. Okay. Okay, good. <laughs> no bandit. It is my duty as a servant to, to fix this dire situation. There's horrible war. It's also my duty to stay hidden so that people are to stay home and to do so. Tell me more about this war. Well, as 
as far as I know, um, I hold up my gauntlet. This was one of the things that was supposed to be a token to alienate. But it was not my husband. This gauntlet is mine. And it is my independence that it has taken away from me. So I took it back in my mind. And there, because of the disappearance of these items and my disappearance, it was utter chaos. All I know is that I, I fled towards it. sounds of wildlife kind of going around, it gets very, very, very quiet. Are you noticing something? I look around, see if I see anything. With that perception roll that you had rolled earlier, you do see what looks like, from your perspective, hundreds of eyes oh, okay. Perhaps, yeah. staring at you. And with that, Dreadful fate awaits our intrepid party as the countless malevolent eyes close in from the obsidian shadows of the Underdark? The answer to this harrowing question shall be unveiled next week! Good job, everyone.